The following is a semi-professional attempt at humor. The jokes contained within are intended for a mature audience. Not 18, we aren't cops, but we will occasionally say things that you find offensive. If you do get offended by our videos, make sure to keep any hate in the comments section where it belongs, or write about it on your blog. Above all else, try to have fun and remember, nothing matters. Alrighty, welcome Nondescripts to Abyss Odyssey on Nihalhalla. Um, so this is a game I picked up a while back because I was looking for uh, co-op games um, to play with uh, my brother that didn't look like they were complete, like ass balls terrible. Uh, we're going to play this on Nightmare Difficulty, if, I, if it'll let me. There we go. Yeah. Running it on Neil's uh, rig. Yeah, this is the same rig we've used for everything so far because, uh, of course, we don't have the huge user base that we expected we would get from mentioning 4chan. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we also haven't been sent any additional hardware yet, uh, and recording on my laptop is kind of a pain. Uh, and to... we're uh, running it at max specs, pretty much? Uh, yeah, this is as high as this game will go. Yeah. Uh, it looks much. nice. Oh, we're just looking at the menus right now. Um, it still looks pretty. I mean, just, you know, the book and such. <laughs> well, I guess. Let me enjoy the book and the menu. Yeah, you're allowed, I guess. Um, all right, so I actually have all three characters unlocked already because I've beaten the hell out of this. Um, but of the three characters, I enjoyed the rapier wielder uh, the best, which is the main character anyway. And then uh, when I unlocked her, uh, the pinkoya, or la pinkoya... What is a pincoya? I, I cannot possibly explain it as well as the Brazilian uh, mythology can. Um, but basically... Give like, us the cliff notes. <laughs> <laughs> she's like a mermaid? Okay. Um, sort of. She's like a mermaid water goddess or something. Um, ghost mermaid? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and this is a ghost monk. Um... So, yeah, that's basically the mythology we're dealing with here. But this game is essentially a, uh, a descending form of Castlevania uh, in terms of it being a side-scroller and in terms of you fighting enemies until they're dead and then moving on and then occasionally fighting bosses. Um, but it doesn't have any, like, backtracking or anything like that. So it's like your early Castlevania games. Okay. Um, well, pick the, pick the lady. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start in uh, Santa Lucia, which is the first entrance to the Abyss, and ride this as far as we can. We're on, as I said, Nightmare Difficulty, so this is going to be ridiculously hard. If you guys hear a lot of button mashing, I'm not going to apologize. Um, oh my god, I turned V-Sync on and we're still tearing? Well, what? yeah, oh my. That is bad. Well, everybody, some more behind-the-scenes action, and plus Woo! it's a, we're yeah. a review show, so let that be a part of the review. Let's uh, let's turn V-Sync off and see if that's less shitty. Man, oh there's my. still a lot. What Whoa. the fuck? You can actually see it shifting in the frame. Yeah, what's the resolution right now? It's 920, uh, 1920 by 1080. It's, it's full, huh. most people consider HD. Um, but like, god damn, damn. That, that is unwatchable, like, it's unplayable almost. Um, well, let's turn V-Sync back on and see if it just doesn't, like, see if it's just those pillars that do it. Uh, in oh, like man, the... I'm seeing it in the background and foreground. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's not as noticeable as those fucking pillars were, though. Like, the, I think the parallax of those pillars has made it a lot more, god damn, than the tree's doing it. Wow. Oh, this is fucking hard to watch. Indeed. All right. Let's fucking get down here and see if see it does See if it does that, huh? Yeah. If it does it down here, then there's no question. We're going to, like, fucking just... I guess we're just going to have to live with it, because turning V-Sync on or off didn't make any difference. Or well, maybe that that's, like, sucks, because, like, overall, when that's not happening, it looks pretty. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, if it does it down here, we'll try restarting the game, I guess. Um, which we're not gonna record us restarting the game, because no, that's, no, no, that's no, yeah. Um, which, it looks like it's still doing it, but it's not as bad. No, it's definitely not as bad. You really have to focus, and I'm gonna tell everybody so they can notice it. Uh, definitely in the background. So these are monsters? Yep. Um, so is it... 
kind of total Castlevania ripoff where you have main attack and then a spell? Or, yep. Yeah. And the spell is, like, depending on what spell you're using. Whatever you have equipped. Yeah, depending on the spell you're using, it's, uh... Ah. They think they can shoot me. That's cute. I really enjoyed the Castlevania that was on PlayStation 3. Uh, Symphony of the Night? Yeah. Yeah, Symphony of the Night was fucking amazing. That's like everybody's quintessential Castlevania. Well, it was 3D too, and it, it did it well. Wait, that's not the same. That's not the same one I'm thinking of. Oh uh, no, I was thinking the one that was 3D. Are you talking about the one that was on uh, PS2, maybe? I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Hold on, let me look it up. I could look it up real quick. It, it was really fun. It was. I can't. Uh, say that I'm big enough of a Castlevania fan to know, you know, what came out at what time. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like, Symphony of the Night is like the quintessential... Legacy of Darkness. Oh, okay. Um, Symphony of the Night was like the quintessential fucking everybody loved this Castlevania. And, uh, like... Honestly, like, it even dates well, like, even now, which is impressive. Would you find the mysterious wall chicken? Oh I, no, secret walls. Yeah. What was that, an item? This is a sword uh, that will allow me to charm my enemies, so when the charm effect takes hold on an enemy, they will start fighting for oh, me cool. instead of against me. So this was made by Ace Team? Uh, so. Yeah, Atlas is the, uh, the producer, I think, and if you're not familiar with Atlas, they did, uh, like, uh, Armored Core, they did the uh, oh, localization okay. for Armored Core. Uh, so, you didn't get much of a story in the beginning, was that because you've already beaten this, or...? I, I think so. Basically, okay. what this is, is it's, uh, it's a Brazilian, like, mythology... Uh, Are you in Brazil right now? In theory. Okay. <laughs> Santa Lucia is the the place that I started out, which I believe is somewhere in Brazil. Yeah, I've never been to Brazil, so I can't say that even the scenery it you know it had palm trees. So, but yeah. that doesn't mean anything. There's palm trees in Nevada, and it's not tropical. Yeah. Um, the as far as I know, that's that is absolutely 100% death up down there. By the way. Oh. Oh, it kind of does the whole Shantae thing to let you know like that yeah. is bad. Yep. Um. I kind of like that. Uh, I, I do too. You know, because um, like, there's been games I played, and at first in Shantae, I don't know if it was just the skull and crossbones were lame, but I like how it teaches you, because there's a couple of Mario games I played, in fact, a couple in Galaxy 2, where you don't know if you're supposed to jump down or take a leap of faith, and I always hate that in a game when... Oh, God. It was like that in Mario 3D, too, where you, where you jump down, your, and you're just kind of like, leap of faith. I hate that. I cannot remember what my... Ow. I cannot remember if I have additional abilities that I just haven't used here. Okay, so I've got the... Okay, so I've got Upstrike. I've, Ooh, you got the E-Honda? Yeah, I've got the fucking <laughs> sewing machine stab, and then I've got Fireball. Fireball. Um, which fireball can be used in the air, and the, this can sort of be used in the air, but this is, uh, the upstrike being usable in the air is probably the most impressive, because then I can do stuff like, uh... Get on platforms. Yeah, like, uh, Super Smash Brothers style recovery, basically. And I apparently had skill points just sitting around, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my special cancels. Uh, for those of you who have never played this game before, upgrading your special cancels is arguably more important than adding damage or defense or mana to any ability. Um, because if you upgrade your special cancels, you can cancel one move into another move. What? Nothing, keep talking. What, is your robot dick all fucked up again? Are you serious? You're taking a phone call. Yep. Okay. 